Two more students have come forward now with sex abuse allegations against Hilton School principal Kirk Ashton. Ashton, who remains on paid administrative leave, appeared in court today. The Northwood Elementary principal was indicted on 25 charges by a Monroe County grand jury, including seven counts of second degree sexual conduct against a child, seven counts of first degree sexual abuse. 11 counts of endangering the welfare of a child. It was nine, but those two additional students make 11. All students, all of whom claim the abuse happened at school and during school hours. Atia Collins is following the latest on the investigation tonight, and she joins us now. Atia, you say Ashton could face even more charges. Why? In many sexual abuse cases, unfortunately, when one person comes forward, it gives others the courage to do so themselves. And in the case of the Hilton principal accused of sexual abuse and charged with sexual abuse, experts expect more cases to come forward. Two more children are coming forward with accusations of sexual abuse at the hands of former Hilton Elementary School principal Kirk Ashton, bringing the total to 11 victims. Officials say more charges are possible if more victims come forward, something that is typical in cases like this as time goes on, according to pediatrician Dr. Elizabeth Murray. Understandably, children can think that, you know, now that there's so much media about this, there's so much coverage, there's other children that... Uh, uh, you know, we're concerned about other children coming forward. Dr. Murray is not directly involved in the care of the victims from the Hilton sex abuse investigation. However, she has worked with child abuse victims and says a key part of uncovering more cases is providing the tools necessary for children to tell their stories. These education programs that can happen in schools are just so critically important to give children those the skills and the language they need to, in some situations, stand up for themselves and to have the courage to be able to come forward if, heaven forbid, something has happened to them. Dr. Murray says in 90% of child abuse cases, the abuser is known to the victim, and this is why it is so crucial to provide both physical and mental health services to help the families and the children work through their trauma. It's hard to catch what's happening because the person is trying to act in a way that they gain your trust and they gain your respect and that i think is so crushing and devastating so often to the families my role as a physician to help to make sure the children know that their bodies are healthy and normal but the mental health providers are going to help the children make sure that they understand that what happened to them was was not their fault Dr. Murray also works with the Bavonia Child Advocacy Center and says Bavonia, along with other community organizations and partnerships, have resources and are aimed at helping families and victims work through their trauma. Reporting in Rochester, Atia Collins, News 8. All right, Atia, thank you. Ashton, by the way, was arraigned last week in Greestown Court and is currently being held at the Niagara County Jail. He was moved there and he's being held on a $500,000 cash bail. Eight orders of protection were issued last week as well.